am probably one of LeBron's biggest critics. You are. And I and I, I will say this, this will be his greatest feat. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've seen him come back from 3-1 on a 73-win Warriors team, but come on, he's 39 years old. The Lakers are in the ninth slot. No seed under, let me say what, the sixth seed Rockets in 94-95 have won a title. So if that's the case, he's going to have two of the greatest feats ever accomplished, ever accomplished in NBA history, which is coming back from a 3-1 deficit in the finals, which has never been done, and also a team below the sixth seed winning a championship. Now, if that doesn't tell you goat of all goats, then I don't know what does, despite what Jordan has done. This, and then you look at the numbers across the board. He's broken every record, all-star, regular season, minutes, points. I mean, at some point, you just got to say, good Lord. Mm. What more does this guy have to do? And I'm one of those guys. So even you would give up and give in? I, I would give up and give All At right. that point, this, this, this is a 39-year-old. This is on the level of Tom Brady in his 40s winning Super Bowls. Mm. I mean, I, I just have to just say, forget it. <laughs> You're not, I've never called him the king right. before. You're the king. Wow. You're the king. See, you, you and I go back nearly 20 years. We're yes, the do. only people these days who could draw me into a Michael Jordan LeBron debate. Thank you very much, Paul Pierce. I will say this, and I, I can't believe I am agreeing with Paul on this, but I will say if at age 39 he wins Jeez. his fifth title, holds the all time scoring record, right? Will have played longer at a higher level than anyone else in the history of the game. He will have done it without being led by one of the greatest coaches of all time, without having one of the other top 50 players of all time next to him for every single finals appearance, right? If you're gonna count the finals he lost against him, you can't tell me that Scottie Pippen and J.R. Smith in that last Cleveland finals mm -hmm. were the same, same caliber of guy, right? So he will have done it without that kind of thing. And by the way, I am also going to throw in his off-court impact only in this. When we talk about Muhammad Ali being the greatest of all time, mm -hmm. we don't separate that out from the aura of him and what he was. I mean, I out do, but I give well. you. I, I understand you know what, I mean? what you're that saying. It's part yeah. of. It's part right. of it. It's okay. not the thing, but it's part of it. I would say that he would have to be up there because the other argument is. Yeah. I, I'm just. I'm asking you. Okay. I say, how do you match up with that? Okay, by the way, the off the court, I don't even want to start on it because if we do LeBron versus Michael off the court, it's it's like shamefully advantage LeBron on that one. I give you that, but I don't go there. I, I get it. I'm just All saying right. it's not nothing. I'm going to start here with Mr. Pierce across the table from me. Okay, so one week ago, you pretty much wrote off the Lakers and wrong. said there's no way they're even getting out of the play-in, right? right? Right. So now this feels a bit like a little, as I, if I can say, CYA, as in cover your you-know-what, just in case <laughs> they get on a roll, you can say, oh, well, I, 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 I can't believe this, right? Right. Okay, so you also said just two or th about three days ago, the Anthony Davis that you saw on the floor at Milwaukee was the best player in the league. All right. At least he was on that night because you think he has the nuclear capability to be that guy on any given night. Any given night. Okay, so LeBron already has that, and I love this team. I liked it from the start. I do wish they had all these injured players. Gabe, Vin I still don't know whatever happened to Gabe Vincent, but if maybe Jared Vanderbilt can come back. Maybe Christian would probably, not, I, I don't know. But yeah. if they had all three of those, then I would really love this team. Mm -hmm. But I still like it a lot because I saw it against Denver match up last year and have four straight chances to win four close games. Mm -hmm. And by the way, just for the record, in those four games, LeBron was just pathetic in the four fourth quarters. And I, I'm a critic, or at least I'm a truth teller about him, but even I couldn't believe how bad he was against Denver last year. And then all I heard was, well, he ran out of gas. Well, it's the same thing I heard back in 2015 when I thought he had a chance to pull off his greatest achievement ever, which was the first time against Golden State when he played the three greatest games of his career in a row. Remember the first three, because yep. he didn't have Kevin Love, and then he lost Kyrie lost in Kyrie. overtime of game yes. one. And LeBron was just extraordinary, like putting 
what was left of that team on his back. And, and look at the numbers for those three games. Yes. So then we get to game four. It's in his house. You're up two games to one. And I'm thinking going on the way to the game, wait, wait a second. <laughs> if, if he wins this game tonight in his house and they're up three games to one, this is going to be all time, all time. Now, the Warriors weren't quite the Warriors, but they were coming off an incredible season. Yes. Mm -hmm. So... <laughs> Then he disappeared in four, five, and six, and somehow Andre Iguodala wins MVP, and it was in large part because he took LeBron, and then he took him to the rack on defense and scored a lot of points on him. Okay, so when, when I look at the totality, to your point, Rachel, I, I give you longer, way better, because Michael really only played 13 seasons because it, it pretty much ended in 1998 in Chicago, right? I know he had these two sort of ceremonial seasons in but Washington. You cannot count that. Okay. If you get on the court All right, but and he, you put yourself out there, it yeah. counts. But, but he took I lived in three Washington years during off. I know. In I know that he time, did. he was there, I promise. He was in the building with me. He was okay. on the court. Okay, he was, but he took three years off at the prime of his life because decision, they pushed though. his coach out the back. Back door. That's a decision. Okay. And then he comes back not in great shape. He, the, the great Tim Grover, didn't, wasn't able to flip that switch for him when, when they got to Washington. And it, it was kind of hard on the eyes. It was hard to watch. So I give you longer, but just because you play longer at a higher level does not make you better because it's just hard to compete with six finals, six and oh, six MVPs. Mm -hmm. It's hard to compete with 10 scoring titles to only one for LeBron. It's hard to compete with Michael Jordan actually won defensive player of the year. I get it. I okay. Hear you. I hear you. So in, in it, it's, it, it's hard to compete with a Michael Jordan who had no epic failures at all in his playoff run. There's no epic fail. And I look at LeBron against you guys in 2010. Mm -hmm. He had, listen, that game three in your building, that, that was that was sensational. I said, my God. And then remember what started happening in game four, five, and six? Yep. It got so bad, his owner, Dan Gilbert, accused him of quitting in the series. <laughs> well, did anybody ever accuse Michael Jeffrey Jordan of quitting? Well, no, mm -hmm. they, they didn't. Then we turn right around, he goes to Miami in 2011, and in games four, five, and six, it was an all-time superstar meltdown. I've never seen anything like it before. He just lost it. He wasn't ready for the, the brightest lights with the Heatles. And then we, we go to 2013, game six, he misses the tying three, and there's a long rebound. Chris Bosh goes and retrieves it and kicks it to your man, Ray Allen, mm -hmm. in the corner. Is the greatest clutch shot I have ever seen anybody make under mm -hmm. those circumstances. And it saved LeBron's legacy because it saved him a finals loss. I mean, I the Heat you. fans, are you. they're f fleeing into the no, night. That was, that was, okay? And then we turn right around in 2014, and LeBron disappears at home in games three and four, and they get blown off the floor in the finals against my San Antonio Spurs by an, a record finals margin. Well, that never happened to Michael Jordan. Mm -hmm. And then we, we, we just keep on through the, the, the meltdown in game one and in, in overtime in 2016. And it's, just, it's, it's like, I, I don't know, I, Michael has none of these these taints on his legacy, and now you're just gonna wipe the slate clean because he, the last championship he won was the bubble championship. Yeah. And it was it felt Mickey Mouseich to me. It I felt bubbleicious. You were there, Rachel. You were say, trapped in that bubble I would, also. I would, I would argue, and, and we've had this discussion mm -hmm. before, a, any title won in the bubble is more impressive to me, having been there okay, than but, last, but I get it. But, but several teams, that. starting with the Clippers, just just couldn't take it. They, they just they just wanted that's to go home. About how hard yeah, it is. I know. You accomplished something that's pretty much looks so unattainable. Like coming back from 3-1, yep. no one's ever done that. Okay. A, the, arguably the greatest team at the time at the time yep. in history in history of the league 73 win team okay. you're up you're down 3 1 73 okay. wins think about that okay this is this is equivalent to buster douglas beating mike tyson i mean I'm, jesus I'm what are the odds of that i'm not sure this, this, this is the caps were buster douglas Lennox lewis i mean the yeah. odds of that okay but rachel sang the praises yesterday of draymond and how much he means to steph and the chemistry that rare chemistry that they have mm -hmm. on the floor mm -hmm. obviously he got suspended for one game, game. okay you but, but it seemed, it it seemed to draymond. flip yes. okay but it flipped their script it, it they lost momentum and they could not get it back 
But that had something to do with Kyrie. You had two more tries. Had two more tries. Had two more tries. And by the way, Kyrie did hit tries. these shot of like, shots. Yeah. That should not be. Draymond missed one. I can understand he missed the rest of the series. He missed one game. Now you have, you have your Voltron all in place. Mm -hmm. Your your superhuman powers. Everybody's together. All five of y'all. You got two more cracks at it. Okay. And you don't get it done. All right. Now, if you come from eighth seed at 39 years old, that supersedes any, once again, a yep. monumental accomplishment. This is monumental. This is almost impossible. Like, nobody is even thinking this could ever happen. And if he does that, what else more you can say? That's all I'm saying. And you know I'm one of his biggest critics, so... My hat will go off to him because I don't think they can do it. First of all, that's why say, I said it. This is my favorite part here. <laughs> I don't my think favorite that, Paul Pierce strategy with LeBron. I don't uh -huh. think this is ever going to happen. But I'm thinking if yes. this does happen, and then, happen, and then yes, if he fails, then, fails, then Paul okay. gets to chime in and say, If this fail. happens, then I'll go to one knee and say, LeBron, you're the GOAT. Okay. Mm. okay. All right. I just don't think it's gonna happen. But, but in your heart of hearts, you 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 know it's not gonna happen, right? <laughs> Probably so. Okay. I, I don't know. I, I still give them a real good shot. And, and you give them a shot, right? I, I, oh, well, you, except you love Denver. I right? think yeah. I think Denver, yeah. if I'm gonna pick, I'm yeah. gonna pick Denver every time. But I was sitting here pre preseason and you picked the Lakers. You had faith in them, even with how you feel about LeBron. And so the fact that that's coming due now is very interesting, as you said, okay. the team you thought that they should be. In and I got accused on this show of having some hidden agenda. I don't have any. I just like this team, but I liked it last year after the yeah. trade deadline. I'm a big fan of Rob Polinkas. I think he did a sensational job on the fly last year of just flipping this team script. And then the pieces he added in the offseason, if they, if they had them healthy, they would really have a squad. They, they would, but to Paul's point, if, if LeBron is able to yeah. win this year, with all of the things you just said, they're a complete roster, all of the stuff, Anthony Davis, excellent, excellent player, it would still be a LeBron accomplishment. Okay, I'll and, give you accomplishment, think, but, but it wouldn't shock me because I thought they were going to do it before the season that's started. That's a testament to how good LeBron actually okay, is. That's it, not listen, a mark against well, him. Well, obviously, nobody, nobody in the history of this game has come close to playing at the level he's playing at at this late stage. So, I mean, when did you stop? You, you played a I long time. I was toast after 33. I was after 33, <laughs> okay, all right. I'm sorry. I was toast. Okay, so in how many years did you last? The I would have with eight? Paul in his final season okay. were amazing. He was just <laughs> Actually, like, I'm not running back there. I'm not doing that. <laughs> I didn't know if I was gonna wake up with a, a sore toe or a hip any given day at okay. 34. So, so you you certainly appreciate that. Yeah, I do that. appreciate I, the, the longevity. The longevity is, is just, it's staggering. Well, it's is astonishing. Why more important to you? Okay, because I, I'm just going player versus player. If I got one game for my life, I know who I'm going with, okay. and I think you would too. But Michael Jordan could have done this, mm -hmm. right? Michael Jordan was at such a high level. He didn't have to quit when they got rid of Phil no. Jackson. LeBron has had situations where management, team ownership, or coaching situations have not mm -hmm. been to his liking, he's kept playing. And by the way, if the situation was reversed, I feel like there would be people sitting here saying, well, LeBron gave up, Michael Jordan didn't give up. Yeah. Well, we don't say that Look, about Jordan, and I get that, and there were a lot of extenuating circumstances, but as someone who sat and watched Michael Jordan play at the age LeBron is now, I can tell you, it wasn't even close to close. No, it wasn't even it the wasn't. same arena. And, and I, I'm the biggest Jordan fan, and it hurt my eyes. It, it, I, I, he averaged 20 and 6, which is okay, but, but just to your to eyes, this. it'd be like, right. God. So that doesn't count. Because he gave in to the cigars and uh, okay, whatever. Okay, that's and a the, choice. Yeah, I know. I, but that's a choice. It when is. you talk about what makes a great athlete, right? Yeah. And Paul, how much effort you put in how long you do it for, what your dedication is, what your mental toughness is, and what your mental sort of approach is. There was a point, and I'm joking about your final season, but you were ready. Yes. You were just like, I'm here, I'm doing my thing, but I am I am done. We were mm -hmm. talking about you coming to work with me on TV yeah, right. from like November on, yeah, right? We were right. like, oh, when I kept I kept coming right. by Paul's locker being like, you ready yet? You ready yet? <laughs> right, right. You ready okay, yet? But, but you, and so, but that was a decision. And right, you were okay. like, great, I am ready to move on to this phase of my life. It's a decision with Michael Jordan too. Okay, but you just burn out. You, you just get tired of putting in the work you have to put Absolutely. in. LeBron loves to play basketball. That's why he's he's still played the fifth highest minutes this year in the 
league. That's like, discussion? what are you doing? Doesn't yeah? that come into this discussion? Not, not, I, not for me, if we're talking about the greatest player, if you want to talk about who played the longest, the best, it's, it, it, it's like, it's, a, it, it's over. It's, it's a, done. It's a, it's a like, why can't it be yeah. part of the other discussion? And by the way, I'm not sitting here ready to say today that LeBron James is better than Michael Jordan because no. I just think that we're now crossing eras so much. I talk about Wilt. I talk about Kareem. You know what? Wilt was a more accurate shooter. Than Michael Jordan. Well, so if we're going to start he's, here, he's doing finger roll lay-ins. Okay, they couldn't but that's dunk, again, but, that's you know, part like of it, a big right? Dipper, yeah. When we talk about Michael yeah. Jordan, he could fly. Okay, he that's part fly. of it, right? So per someone's physical skills, yeah. who they are on the court, is part of this discussion. It's All right, part think of the about this. As we speak, if we combine regular season and postseason minutes, LeBron James has played fifteen thousand three hundred more minutes than Michael played. Fifteen thousand three hundred more minutes. So obviously the points are going to add up and add up and add up. And here's the the irony of this discussion: he ain't done yet. Like I don't even think he's close to. I, I think he's going to play a it couple sounds more like years. Making an argument for LeBron yeah. now. Yeah. Are you making like? It's no, like, no, I'm not making an argument. I'm just saying the longevity I give yeah. you. Okay. But listen. If we could do the hypothetical, you know, fantasy one-on-one, -on -one, uh, this is just me. Michael would destroy him in a one-on-one -on -one game because of Michael's mental toughness, killer will, the ultimate basketball assassin. I think psychologically he'd destroy LeBron. But LeBron's okay, so not a one-on-one -on -one well, player. Let me ask you something. Yeah. What does he have to do to catch Michael? For, say he plays another four years, can he catch well, Michael? He's lost six finals and Michael so went six no, and oh. Okay, no like, like this. Listen, this is just me. After the 2011 finals, after I witnessed what I witnessed, I just said, that's over. You, over. you can't bring that back to me now because Michael had none of those. Yeah, they got swept by the Celtics. But in, you remember what happened in game one? It went to overtime, but he had 63. And Larry Bird says, I, I think I just saw... God disguised as Michael Jordan. God disguised as Michael Jordan. God, Is there anything God disguised? he can do? Well... <laughs> I don't know, can he play 10 more years? Or I, I guess maybe <laughs> oh, after 10 God. years, I'd finally have to say, well, this is not human anymore, right? <laughs> it's already not yeah. human. Yeah. 10 more years. <laughs> in my, in, wow. So in my opinion, I don't necessarily buy the, gee, he played for so long, so therefore, <laughs> of course, he's going to be better. Michael Jordan played a lot longer than certain other players, right? So of course, he's going to yeah. be better. I look back at Grant Hill. If Grant Hill hadn't gotten hurt, would he be Michael Jordan? No, but we <laughs> talked about him in that way, right? When he first we started, did. we kept talking about him. Is he the next Michael Jordan? Yeah. Right? Like, different things happen to guys over the course of their career. Mm -hmm. How they, some of it's bad luck. Some of it is the decisions they make. Michael made some decisions. Jordan's right. path was a lot okay. easier, too. Jordan Jordan was the number one seed pretty much in all of his mm -hmm. championships, except for like what one, two, Phoenix and he Utah. Yeah. Bill Jackson. And he, so he his he path to the finals okay. versus no. LeBron's path. Okay, but the Eastern Conference was beasts of the East in those days. The finals was mm -hmm. easy for like once they got there, that was the easiest mm -hmm. round of the playoffs for them. But if you look at all what, what they had to battle through, starting with Detroit, it took a long time. But mm -hmm. once they broke through in Boston, and, uh, and then obviously. You went through all the... I did. But, yeah. but don't insult his Celtics. I mean, and LeBron the was able yeah. to do... But no, no, but what LeBron yeah. was able to do eventually to you guys, right? And mm -hmm. think about all the franchises. You at least got your title in and your finals appearances in yeah. before he really came into his own. But think about all the franchises. You guys ended up parting ways. Yep. Toronto ended up yeah, sort once of we rising broke up and the, falling. Yeah, well, it and, was the and, Eastern Conference. Right? Yeah, but I just mean that it that was. was partly a LeBron influence, that no team mm. could even compete. Atlanta, yeah. the Pacers, just yeah. nobody could even get close. L look, to your point about Jordan, he made a choice, but I actually honor the choice that he made because you got to give him this. He quit because he loved that coach so much. He said, if you push him out, I'm just going to walk into the sunset. You, what, I'm, you, you dare me, I'll show you. And I didn't think he would do it, and he did it on pure principle. And I've had l even recent conversations with Jerry Reinsdorf, and he said, look, Phil won it out. Like, yeah. Phil, Phil was done. And so Michael quit on the wrong principle, you can argue, but he quit on a principle. So, you know, I've been critical of Michael off the court and, and what, whatever he wanted to contribute to society or the community, and it wasn't much. But still, his principle, his basketball principle was extreme. And so he just said, I'm going with my coach. You push him out. I'm, and, of course, Phil just went right on to Los Angeles and just kept on keeping mm -hmm. on while Michael sat for th three of his prime, because he was 34. Right. So from 34 to 37, he watched. Yes. And I will say yeah. this about Michael Jordan and his yeah. time in Washington, D.C., yeah. because I don't think that this side gets brought up enough. 
I see real honor in what he did in coming back in DC. And I don't just see it because, gee, the franchise needed a boost and all of that stuff. I see it for him. In talking to him in that time, yeah. before he came back, one of the biggest things people said to him was, how can you not let that last shot in Utah not just be the last shot? That was, quote, Beautiful. the perfect ending, right? right. If that expression has never been used more than the perfect ending for Michael Jordan. And he kept saying, for me, my perfect ending is getting to play more basketball, getting to see the maximum of my ability, getting to stretch it out and just seeing how far okay. I can run, what I All can right. do. And to me, watching a professional athlete of his caliber take that approach, not be worried about what people thought about him. He knew that he wasn't going to come back the mm. same player and say, I want to play the game of basketball, even if it is at the end of the string. I don't think we talk about that enough when okay. we talk about Michael Jordan, right. and I think that's very admirable. Okay. So I'm throwing so, that into the debate. All right, fair enough. To sum this up, what you're saying, you're going to wipe LeBron's slate clean, and I can't because there <laughs> there are too many glitches here, like big glitches along the way. Yeah, with those that big Jordan glitches, there's monumental, monumental mm -hmm. records that he's accomplished. Mm -hmm. There's never going to be somebody getting over forty thousand points in well, our lifetime. I don't that that adds so. to the legacy. Yeah, I mean, unless Wimbenyama is, is so special that he just. But so I, yes, I don't that see does it. wipe yeah. some things away. When yeah. you look at the, the records and at the top that people are going to be chasing, our kids, kids, kids <laughs> might not ever see yeah. be Plus broken. Plus, if he gets that, it's, it's a fifth title at age 30. At no. that age, it's going to be it's going to be too undeniable. But I mean, bottom line, Paul Pierce says it ain't happening. <laughs> I don't right? think it's happening, though. <laughs> you better hope not, or you'll be down on bended knees. That's right. right? Exactly. You heard it here. We no. have it on, on tape. Game this is Thanks for watching, Undisputed fans. Do you want more highlights from the show? Make sure to click that subscribe button for all the exclusive content from Undisputed.